Hey, Satellite Sisters and Misters, uh, it's Liz. Just got dressed and showered and dressed, you know, because it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So I thought I needed to get going. And uh, as I was making lunch today, I, all of a sudden I realized it was already Thursday. You know, it's just very hard to keep up with the days of the week now here. So Thursday, I thought, oh my God, I better launch season three. If I don't get season three launched, we won't finish it up this weekend. So, so here you go. This is episode one season three. And uh, for those of you who have not listened to this week's episode of the podcast yet, um, you should just turn me off. I'll still be here when you come back. You should go back and listen to that because Leanne and Julie had a chance to review my performance. I had a chance to talk about it a little bit and we set up the new goal for season three. But um, the, I gotta say, my, my sisters really inspired me with the chicken in season two. And what I love looking in the Facebook group is just seeing the fact that even I could do a roast chicken inspired many of you to try that roast chicken. And they all looked fantastic, sisters and misters. So, so good for you. Whether you're like a true chef or just somebody trying to acquire new skills, I think we have something going here on Cooking with Liz because pretty much our motto is, if I can do it, you can do it, right? So, uh, so yeah, there were a couple of things we talked about on the podcast when Leon and Julie were reviewing my performance. Um, Julie had a few issues related to salmonella. You know, that in the time of Corona, maybe I should not be touching the chicken and then touching my camera, readjusting the camera and then touching the chicken again, which, you know, I have, I have to admit, even as I was doing that, Julie, I knew that was the wrong thing to do, but, but my camera operator is, you know, furloughed. And uh, so I think it was just the art, the art of making sure I got the right shot just sort of overtook me there. And it was more important than maintaining the sanitary barrier between uh, me and my phone. But I did wipe it off immediately afterwards and I ate that chicken and survived. So, uh, so yeah, so there was no, no real salmonella issue, but you were right to raise it. I, I don't blame you. And then Leon gave me a lot of credit for just doing it and reinforced like just a roast chicken is a great thing to smell in a house and to have and which is all true again except it's just me but yeah it smelled delicious she felt like just having fennel in my life really upped the game a little bit and you know again I'd have to say uh I'd have to say she was right so um so all good with that but then as we were thinking, you know, once they renewed me for season three, we were thinking about what season three should be. And uh, and I wanted to do something a little more advanced, you know, more in the season one world, the Musaka world. And they talked me out of it and said, the important thing is just to keep learning how to do the staples. So uh, don't, don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just Leon always says, you just need to know how to make five good things. So, uh, so I made the moussaka, made the roast, chi roast chicken, and we decided that I should go for something just solid and simple for season three. And there were several of you, including, who was it? It was Rebecca, made a point of saying she's a vegetarian, and I know a number of you are. So maybe we could find something veg for season three. So I turned to one of our favorite satellite sisters. She's before. You've heard Claire Tansy on the podcast. I mean, uncomplicated. This is like the Liz Dolan cookbook. And you see what it says here? Taking the stress out of home cooking. I think we, even if you know how to cook, isn't now a good time to take even a little more stress out of it? So I decided to go with Claire. Um, and I picked, and Leanne and Julie approved, the fresh vegetable chili. So I know many of you have already bought this book. If you haven't, it's great. It's on page 140 of the book. So you can, you can read along if you wish, uh, because remember lesson one from season one, episode one was read the entire recipe before you start cooking. So, um, so I read through this Claire, I want you to know, and Claire and I have been in contact. We have back channel contact. Um, so I've read this, and here is the one thing that jumped out to me, Claire, is when you say, when chopping the vegetables, I try to make them all the same size. I know. Now we're into a knife skills area, Claire. So I'm going to do my best, but 
you know, that's really asking a lot. But then it does say down here under tip, there are two easy ways to crush whole tomatoes. Using a pair of kitchen scissors to snip them up in the can. And I thought, oh my God, check this out. I actually own kitchen scissors. Look at that. So one less thing I have to go buy. So you can believe I'm going to be snipping those tomatoes with, with my kitchen scissors. Okay, so I got that with so I got that. And then one more thing here. Oh yeah. The for garnish, sour cream, cheddar cheese, and sliced avocado. You know, I set a rule for myself in season three that it was just gonna be one store visit. And I forgot, I forgot the sour cream. But you know, in uh, in season one, my neighbor Paula down the hall really helped me. In season two, Deborah across the courtyard really helped me. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to scam some sour cream from somebody in my building. There are 14 units. Somebody here has gotta have some sour cream. So anyway, so this is what I'm doing. The fresh vegetable chili. I think it's going to be great. Um, I've begun the mise en place here. So, Claire, I also want to say, like, the, your recipe calls for parsley. I was already socially distancing in the checkout line when I realized I had not gotten the parsley. And the old Liz, you know, before mm, these times were in, would have just said, screw it. I don't even like parsley. I'm not going to buy it. But because I'm doing this to try to learn a few things by the book, Claire. I left my card in the line, I went back and I got this beautiful um, uh, parsley. So I got that and then, you know, got the zucchini here. Now there was a moment in the podcast this week when Leanne suggested um, that if I can't find zucchini, that uh, that yellow squash would be good and I, blurted out something that apparently my sisters did not know about me, which is I hate yellow squash. I just, I just really don't like yellow squash. And in the same conversation, I also said, I didn't want to make soup. I don't really like soup. And Leon and Julie were both shocked at these revelations. And I thought about it afterwards. And I mean, it's not surprising that they would not know all of my likes and dislikes because it's been like 40 years since we lived together. So why would, why would they know that? But it did dawn on me because, you know, I just cook for myself that I never have to buy anything I don't like. I never have to cook anything for anyone else just because they like it. Like just because somebody in the house likes yellow squash. I don't have anyone in my house that likes yellow squash. It's just me. I don't like yellow squash. So anyway, so but luckily they had the zucchini. Um, oh, wait, Claire, I do have one more issue for you uh, related to the spices. So hang on. Uh, your recipe called for ground cumin and the store did not have any, you know, and that's my rule. It had to be there. So I came home and in my ancient spice drawer, I found ground cumin seed. I'm assuming that's the same thing, but you know, I have no idea how long this has been in my drawer. Like, is there an expiration date on ground cumin seed? Like I was looking at this, did it say when I, I, cause I really, who knows when I bought this? I certainly don't remember it. And it says Spice Islands, wouldn't we all like to be in the Spice Islands about now? I was thinking about that, established 1941. So I know that I bought these at some point after 1941 and before this afternoon. So Claire, you can give me like, can I freshen them up? Should I re-grind it? Or is there a substitute for cumin seed? Anyway, so that's my question. But I also want you to know, uh, the recipe calls for chili powder. And at the store, the only chili powder they had was this, which, okay, come on people. This is like a lifetime supply of chili powder for me. I was thinking like, if I die in the next 20 years, I'm gonna to have to leave this chili powder to someone in my will because there's no way I'm going through this much chili powder uh, in my lifetime. But I wanted to make sure that I was respecting the recipe. Oh wait, so Joshua Blue is saying, heat in a dry pan and it will bring the flavor back out. Oh, so, so you think that's what I should do with this? Casey says spices get old, but desperate times, yeah. No, okay. Um, anyway, thank you. So, uh, so I may be selling this chili powder on eBay after all of this current unpleasantness is over because again, it just seems like a lot of chili powder for 
uh, for one girl. So I got that. And let me see if there was anything else I wanted to mention. No, I got the onions, got the garlic, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think, oh, oh, there was one last thing. You know, I have had to acquire a few new tools, uh, but I already own, I already own this. So I've got the big bad Le Creuset. So I'm gonna cook all of that chili right here in the Le Creuset. So I'm very excited there was no giant investment involved in, uh, in episode three, because episode two turned out to be a little bit more expensive uh, than I would have wanted uh, to get just a chicken out of it. So, um, but there was one piece of equipment everyone keeps asking me about. Uh, you keep asking me about uh, my lipstick. So let's see, we had, who asked about the lipstick? All kinds of people. Carrie asked, Robin asked, Valerie asked. So this is a tool I'm using for cooking with Liz. I just thought I would mention for those of you who are curious, yeah, Bobby Brown, you can't be Bobby Brown. I figure in your world, you have, you know, you have Claire Tansy, uh, you have Ina Garten, you have Bobby Brown. So this is a product she makes called Art Stick and the color is Cassis. And basically this is all I do anymore. It's just lipstick and call it a day. I didn't even dry my hair for, you know, for the season premiere of episode three. So, um, so this is how I roll, just the art stick. Anyway, so uh, I will be back with episode two. Episode two, as you know from episode one, and uh, I mean, back with episode two of season three, you know from season one and season two that episode two is where, you know, things get hairy because that's, there's actual cooking involved in episode two. So I will be back and, um, and uh, you can put any of your comments, suggestions here. Claire, let me know what you think uh, about a couple of the questions I posed. And I'm looking forward to being back with uh, episode three, season two, uh, vegetable chili. So, enjoy. it's fun, huh? Okay, bye.